Oh, Stacy, we're doing this as letters to Stacy. And don't ask me why I have this strange lipstick on. Um, and we're doing it as why you shouldn't play tug of war. Because I know there's all kinds of videos, and people tell me, I always saw videos that say to do it. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, and that was why I just posted that video, the Tug of War video. The, the reason is, um, that, that, you know, in the social structure of dogs, which is very, very loose, very, very loose, it's not, I, I want you to think of it sort of like, you know, yeah, we have a pre president of the United States. Are all of us running every day, validating to this president, you are our president. You are our master. No, we're living our little lives. This is what dogs do too. For the most part, they're living their little lives. Um, you know, and, and you know, bouncing off what you're doing. So I will tell you, the only individuals that play tug of war are peers, and that's why. By not doing it at all, you're better off than doing it. People that say, well, we don't let them win. So it knows we're the alpha. Okay, first off, there's no alpha. Second off, um, it, it really just sets up a conflict for later on that I didn't win this time, but it opens up the door for later on. I will win. And, and Stacy, it's kind of like this um, on Seinfeld where um, George's father had the Festivus. Do you remember that one, Summer? Instead of Christmas, instead of a commercialized Christmas, uh, he had a Festivus. He made up this holiday. It was just this pole, and um, then they had these. They had well, yeah, they had these flashbacks to I'll find it, the episode I showed you. But they had these flashbacks to George's childhood, where you know part of Festivus was these feats of strength. You know, where the dad was like arm wrestling George, and he started crying and everything. Yeah. You know, so I mean, that's what tug of war ends up being. That you're sort of you know, saying we're going to have feats of strength, and I mean, a uh, huge majority of people are not going to be physically capable of doing it. But, but what you're doing when you do that is immediately stating, I am your equal. I see myself as your equal, and so we will fight over the little carcass of the rabbit, the last little scrap of food, sort of hardwired into us from our little wolf days. And that's what that was. That was like a little squirrel pelt or something that they were pulling on. You couldn't really see it, but yeah. that's what it was. But if it was a real squirrel pelt, it would have already gotten pulled into a bunch of pieces. And, um, you know, so that's why you don't want to engage in tug of war because you immediately say, I am your peer. They don't need to hear any more than that. They say to themselves, walks like a duck. And I'm telling you right now, that's how it goes. If people say to me, we... Um, didn't do it that much. My response is always a very dejected that you did it at all. Said, you know, stated facts about yourself to that dog. You know, that you are their peer. You will engage in that. There is a dynamic of buying for hierarchy going on. Whereas, you know, individuals, if I let Eli and Talbot out, I'm, I'm going to tell you what they're going to do. Now start playing tug of war. <gasps> oh, Summer's going to have to take you back to the crib. Oh, she's going to have to take you back to the playpen. Careful, careful. Support your little bottom. So that's what you guys have to think of. We don't play tug of war. I mean, I'm not sitting out here playing tug of war with these dogs. You know, I'm teaching them to watch my body language and everything else as subtly as possible. Certainly not doing things like flailing around, shaking a toy around, saying, you know, it's Festivus. Because that really is, i got to show you that, because then it was like the flashback to George, you know, and, yeah, you know, the dad being yeah. real mean to him, you know, saying, you know, like making him arm real or something. You know, I mean, there's a lot of dogs. I mean, we've got dogs here right now. If I said Summer, go out there and start getting them to play tug of they wouldn't do it because they so don't see themselves in that role. You've got more impressionable individuals. You know, so that's why I don't believe in playing tug of war. I'm pretty sure these retriever guys don't do it. Shooks and people do do it, but you have to understand, I mean, that's a very elite caliber of trainer. If you said, oh, there's just all these tens of thousands of Schutzen trainers, I don't think there is. 
you know, not in the elite caliber anyway. And so it's that's all about control drive and everything else. So yeah, they're using that as the reward. Do I recommend that for pet owners? You know, and I mean, do we do that around here? Someone's like, God, I hope we don't start either. Doesn't sound oh, good. When I hear it, I just like vision them pulling on your clothes and stuff. Or well, oh, you know, I mean, that's I get everything. And well, and bite well, and then and then they don't retrieve. I mean, right. I will tell you the other thing that you're going to sacrifice if you play tug of war with a companion dog is you're not going to have a dog that retrieves. You know, I mean, look at Bumpers how big he is. I mean, he's a fantastic retriever, and I, I don't know if we got it on video when I did we, did we video him fetching the other day when I was doing the demo and those people were here. Anyway, but he was so purpose-driven to retrieve that toy that that's why he acted the way he did regardless of the distraction of those people, the other dog and everything else because it was the purpose-driven behavior. But he understood the task and he, he didn't for a moment think that there was going to be any, you know, that there was a possibility that I was going to start tugging on that thing. I've never showed any interest in that toy. <laughs> you know what I mean? If he, you know, said to the other dog, you know, how interested is she in the toy? They would, you know, she never really seemed that interested. You know, any more than, and you know, and then you get these people that the dog will come up and shake the, the toy in their face and stuff, and that's that's something they've created themselves. You know, and for companion dogs, if somebody trains shits some dogs and says, oh, we do it all the time, and that's fine. I'm talking about companion dogs. You should never, you know. And then people say to me, well, why do they sell tug toys then if they're so bad? Um, they sell beer and cigarettes. Yeah, they sell beer and cigarettes. Well, you know, so, yeah. and other people things that are bad. Yeah, exactly. People buy them. Exactly. And people will say it's their favorite game. Yes, it is. And, and they can do it pointlessly. I mean, that, well, but a lot of dogs are going to be predisposed to it. And I'm going to tell you what I saw on YouTube. I think it was that Israeli guy. I'm, I'm just dead set on befriending this Israeli guy. I just, he doesn't like me. <laughs> the Dave thing. Okay, if nothing else, I could get the Israeli guy to like Dave. That would be, you know, that would be like the even yeah. thing. Anyway, but um, he posted this video. He posts a lot of interesting videos. He's, he's very into animals, and I would say, you know, just based on what I've seen, he's a really, really good um, dog trainer. I forgot what the video even was now. I'm so, you know, I'm so obsessed with befriending this guy. Thanks. I just so want, I because I want a friend in Israel, that's why. Yeah. Well, we have a friend in Israel. Who? Who? His name's Ayoff. I have a friend in Israel. The one that went back there? The one that, yeah. Oh, we need to Skype him. Yeah, oh, he, he got deported? For the rest of his life, and he's got a son here in America. He grew up here. What did he do? He was a little kid. Uh, probably just, you know, trafficking. Oh, <laughs> That's all our old friends. That's all our old friends. <laughs> we we spent, you know, yeah. Our new Friday segment is find our old friends on Munchets. I kind of just kidding. Uh, just some of them. Some of them turned out. Um, Anyway, back to the tug of war thing. So that's what you guys and and that's the other thing I want to talk about. I guess is the alpha myth thing too. Um, you know that there is, you know, dog social structure is very very loose. A huge percentage of the individuals are just trying to get through their day and live their little life and do what they want to do. They're not following, yes, they're not following a designated alpha, you know, that's leading the pack or anything else. You are going to have individuals, and I'll tell you what other um, behavior thing I want to get is chasing that bulldog. Do you know that bulldog chases chase? Yeah. I'll tell you what's going to look good in slow mo. That. I'll tell you what's going to look, you know. And, and you know, other people. And people saw that video of Indy, that pit bull playing with the puppies, and thought, you know, like Nina thought it was cute. I'm actually going to crop that one. Well, but it was it was more indicative of here is blossoming dog aggression in this dog. Even though I raised that dog from a very tiny puppy, trained it, conditioned it, socialized it with all these other dogs. That was the actual moment I believe that it broke bad. You know, and I'm picked up with his that place. But because I, I audibly gasped in that video prior to that, the dog had never shown anything. Mm -hmm. I audibly.
we just, how often do you hear me do that? I'm like, oh. Yeah, because I did, I, you know, I didn't expect that. I didn't, you know, I was disappointed. Well, he put his face over his mouth and bit down. And then not only bit down, I'm going to crop it out and do his behavior video. He not only bit down, but he, he got, it, his, his excitement escalated. And that'll I'll be put the title as it. His excitement escalated after it showed fear and pain. And it went, he took his little feet and he went. I'm a little brand crazy. I know. Shaley Taylor gave them to me. She's got this business we need to find her on Facebook. She, they, they have like these termite dogs or something. Oh my God! I sniff out termites. Or maybe no, maybe it was bed bugs. Bed bugs. Bed bugs. That was it. She got one of the puppies though from. Um, she got one of the puppies from uh, Body Joe Porter's brother. We need to see how it's doing. Anyway, guys, so that's the video. I'm going to try to do a bunch more of those, but that's why you do not want to play tug of war. In, in, in a dog world, you know, the ones that play tug are the peers. By doing that, you just set yourself up for failure. You're not the peer. You're, you're Billy Joe Armstrong. You're somebody like they never met before, not a predictable individual like other individuals they met that were their peers that played tug of war pointlessly endlessly for hours that really had no positive outcome other than building strength so anyway that's it festivus i'm gonna find that episode and make better analogies bye guys